I saw like, you know, 20, 26 graveyards, you know, holes, and they were putting boxes there, and then I couldn't hide my camera anymore. I just decided, now it's the time to take pictures. And I took only 14 shots. I was down inside the, the hole, burying me alive. I think it was 77, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the, at White City, Jabavu, um, I think the, the blackjacks there, which is the police, shot people about 26, 27, and then there was a funeral. They didn't want anybody to, to go to the funeral, you know, a, a, any photographer. And uh, I thought maybe I was clever, and uh, I left my car at the gate at the, uh, Avalon, I jumped into the bus with the comrades and I went there and now I saw like, you know, 20, 26 graveyards, you know, holes and they were putting boxes there and then I couldn't hide my camera anymore. And I just decided now it's the time to take pictures and I took only 14 shots. I was down inside the, the, the hole, burying me alive. Some young boy, I don't know him, um, maybe he was 14, 16, he says, hey man, I know this guy, stop it, stop it. They said, who is this guy? They said, Mgoni, Bramgoni, say Bramgoni, nonsense. They took me out and they started hitting me, you know, like boom, boom. And I was full of dust and my cameras and all this. Thing. But, you know, and I survived and I went, um, yeah. But I'll tell you, uh, everything was okay. I didn't have a problem with that. And then until later, I went home. And when I was home, I couldn't eat. I couldn't do anything. I started shivering, you know, um, yeah. Somewhere in, in, in Sibukeng Zone 14, they were like stoning an old lady. I went there with some foreign photographers and then uh, they st uh, so some young boys started, you know, like stoning an old lady and I stopped them, you know, and then I said, no, you don't come to this. So they, you know, like they listened to me, they left with this, that old lady and uh, yeah, um, I went to that another part and, you know, Within within half an hour's time, I saw that old lady burning already with the tire. You know, my heart was very sad. The camera, it, it means, to me, it's like my AK-47. It's an AK-47, and it's, it's a tool. I was I mean, buried alive, and, and I was beaten. I was everything. I was scared at some stage, traumatized, and, and all this, and yeah. I'm still a photographer and that didn't, you know, like, stop me to take pictures.